the internet as we know it, we all think it's fabulous, but you're going about to tell us that it's all wrong. Oh, it needs to be replaced, John. Uh, look, it, it's just not fit for purpose. Look, when you think about when the internet was designed originally, uh, back in the late 60s, I mean, it never thought about mobility or security, which are huge issues that we see currently. Now, one of the things that we've done is we've, we're looking about replacing the current internet. We hear about 5G, it's going to be fabulous, it's going to have all this quick connectivity, but you know, the core network is just not ready. It needs to be replaced. Um, but like, we've got fibre networks, mobile phones, 5G coming, it's meant to be all wonderful. What's, what, what's wrong with it? Yeah, well, look, uh, when you look at, and you think about even the road infrastructure, like we've got great roads here in Ireland, however, they're designed in a certain way, two lanes. When it's quite clear for the traffic, you need three, potentially need four. And then what do you do is you restrict it to maybe 50cc engines. It's not right. You need to be able to re-architect how the internet could and should be used for the future. So what's your solution? Well, for us, what we've done is we've actually gone back to the grandfather of the internet. Louis Pazan is one of the people in behind the idea of the datagram, the first idea of how you would move packets around the network. We've gone and interviewed and worked with Louis. Now, he is seen as the grandfather. We know the father is Vint Cerf. TCP IP is the basis. But if you ask Vince about who was there at the time and running the groups, it was Louis. And Louis gives you great insights to a whole lot of alternatives, alternatives that could be used on the internet. What we've done over the last number of years is we've gone and implemented them and tested them against TCP IP and seen, hey, there are some good alternatives here that could and will be used in the future. Will it not be expensive to overhaul this? Ah, but when you look at how cloud data centers are actually put together today, with virtual machines, there's now a much easier way to seamlessly replace the current inter internet architecture with the alternatives that we're suggesting. I mean, we were in uh, the SDN World Congress in Den Haag in October and we showed demonstrations of how you can seamlessly move over from what you have as the current internet to what we're proposing is a much better architected alternative. And the kind of efficiencies we'll enjoy when, if, if you have your way and you do yes. re-architect or re the internet as we know it, uh, from these data centres, what kind of efficiencies will we enjoy? Well, look, when you're at home at the moment, right, you get fibre connectivity. But if you put on your PlayStation, your gaming stations, if you have all your family and friends on Wi-Fi in home, what happens is you get what's called congestion control. You still don't get connectivity to the apps that you want. With our alternative, you get a network for your application, a dedicated connectivity from your application all the way to the data center or the peer application that you're talking with. Guaranteed QoS, what we call a guaranteed network slice. A bit of the road with a really quick engine just from you, from your device, all the way to where you want to get to. How soon can I have this? <laughs> well, we're just applying uh, what we call TRL level six. This means we're proving the concept. The top of the range is TRL level nine. This is within the next two to three years to show how you could integrate this into products on site and for delivery. Enjoy this video? Click here for more news from siliconrepublic.com or follow us on social media.